It may shift a, a little here. One of the questions in our, our minds here has been that about the, uh, the future uh, of China and its relationship to uh, Southeast Asia. Some people are saying that China is now so divided politically um, that uh, there is no great danger for Southeast Asia in the future. Speaking as a Chinese who understands China, can you make an estimate or a guess as to the future of China? Do you think in the near future it will become again a unified uh, country, a strongly unified country that might represent some kind of a danger to Southeast Asia? Uh, first of all, I can't speak as a Chinese because I'm a Singaporean. I'm of Chinese ethnic stock, and I ethnic think this is Chinese. crucial. I mean, yes. if you ask me to speak as a Chinese... As an ethnic Chinese. Yeah, well, uh, you know, the Chinese People's Republic in Peking will be, uh, I think, quite rightfully indignant, and so will the uh, other aspirant in, in, in Taipei. But speaking as a Singaporean, with some of the built-in uh, uh, memory programming of the Chinese people, I would say that uh, if you believe that the Chinese people will just splinter up into so many warlord communist committees, each governing a province or even part of a province, then you will make one of the gravest uh, mistakes uh, about Asia. I think I, 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 I travel around the world often and, uh, you know, people don't know that I come from Singapore and they treat me uh, as a Chinese or as a Chinaman in the old days, as they used to call them. <laughs> And uh, they used to say, ah, Chiang Kai-shek, you know, in, in the uh, middle 40s and nowadays, of course, uh, Mao Zedong. I'd say that they are determined as a people to unify and build a modern, powerful, wealthy Chinese nation. And I say, good luck to them. <coughs> and I think the moment they get prosperous, good luck to me because I'll be much safer. I don't believe, however, you know, the simple theory that they're just going to send their armies across and uh, eat up Southeast Asia. It's too simple. And it's too simple for, for you, for the Americans, and for us, because then it's naked aggression. The whole of South Asia will gel together and meet an incoming invader. But you've, you've got this make-it-yourself kind of revolution. Wars of national liberation. You know, here's the text. We've got an instructor, he'll teach you how to organize and uh, will slip you a few guns and more if necessary. And if it gets more difficult, well, surface to air missiles. Prime Minister, what's the effect in Asia of demonstrations such as we had yesterday in Washington? Well, you know, I get a lot of demonstrations in Singapore when my students are quite a rambunctious and spirited lot. They are and I think they ought to be, otherwise I, I think there's very little future for Singapore. It's, it's a, a young community and the young must be idealistic, the young must believe that the world should be more just and there should be more moral rectitude in the behavior of their <coughs> leaders and they protest often in, 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 in more than just a peaceful manner because the communists slip into my demonstrations and, you know, but windows got, got broken so often and cars get overturned. But at the end of the day, I think decisions have got to be made by adults, not teenagers. But it's got to be made in such a way that when the teenagers become adults and they look back on these decisions, they would be proud of the generation that went before them. Well, let me add, you only have two million in your population, I understand, but if you put a small token force into the field to assist in the... Uh, in the work that is being done over there against uh, what we call aggression from the north. Wouldn't that help the United States to resolve this issue? I don't see it as my duty as the Prime Minister, an elected Prime Minister of uh, Singapore, and not a client state of the United States. I'm not in receipt of your, your aid, nor am I here to seek aid. I'm doing all right. I hope to do more trade with you. And I don't think it is the duty of the elected representative leader of Singapore to go and involve his country in a situation which can end disastrously for his whole people. 